Two companies contract to buy and sell goods. Each company relies on its own purchase form to provide the contract terms. But which form wins out when the terms don't match up? The Michigan District Court settles the battle of the forms in DTE Energy Technologies versus Briggs Electric. Michigan Corporation DTE negotiated to sell three engine generator systems to Briggs for a California construction project on which Briggs, a California corporation, was a subcontractor. On October 21, 2003, Briggs sent DTE a purchase order for three engine generator sets. On December 4, 2003, DTE sent Briggs an order acknowledgement form with DTE's standard terms and conditions of sale. DTE's terms and conditions included a forum selection and choice of law clause specifying that any lawsuit arising out of the contract would be brought in a Michigan court and subject to Michigan law. DTE sued Briggs in federal district court in Michigan, alleging that Briggs breached the party's contract by failing to pay for the engine generator systems that DTE delivered. Briggs countered that DTE owed Briggs damages arising out of delays on the construction project and demanded mediation in California. Briggs moved to dismiss DTE's lawsuit for lack of personal jurisdiction, 